Welcome back to my YouTube channel. So today I have the 2020 Honda Odyssey Elite. This vehicle competes against the Chrysler Pacifica and also the Toyota Sienna. So my question for today's video is, how does this vehicle compare to the other competition? So starting up under the hood of the Odyssey, This has a 3.5 liter V6 with VTEC. It makes 280 horsepower, 262 foot-pounds of torque. It's paired with a 10-speed automatic transmission designed by Honda. So I can't wait to see how this thing actually performs. As this one sits, it weighs 4,593 pounds. You can also tow 3,500 pounds. Fuel economy is rated at 19 in the city, 28 on the highway, and 22 combined. Regular fuel is recommended. So start off in the front fascia of the Odyssey. This exterior color is a platinum white. Actually looks good with the chrome accents. You also have full LED headlights here. You also have an LED daytime running light. You also have an incandescent turn signal. You also have LED fault lights to the lower part of your bumper with this chrome script. You also have front parking sensors. Yes, because this van is very, very big. Here on your side, proportions, the Odyssey. So now with these wheels, these are a 235, 55, 19 inch rim. I actually like the silver and black finish. You also have four disc brakes uh, for all four wheels. I actually like this uh, wheel setup here in the Odyssey. It looks real, real nice. You also have these LED side markers here. And my particular tester also has a sunroof. Your wheel base is 118.1 with the overall length of, of 203. But overall, we're gonna take a look at the rear of the Honda Odyssey. So at the rear of the Odyssey, starting out with these uh, tail lights back here, it's gonna be an incandescent uh, combination. You also have an incandescent turn signal, also with an incandescent reverse light, also with an LED uh, brake light here. You also have your Odyssey badging with your Elite badge here. You also have rear parking sensors. You also have some well-integrated reflectors here on the lower part of your bumper. You also have a standard backup camera. You also have this chrome piece that cut through the tail light modules. You also have this rear blade to keep that rear glass clean with your Honda emblem. Open up the tailgate back here. It's a power lift gate. You also can kick your feet under the bumper and, and it uh, will open as well. Just in case you were carrying your kids or you uh, you have groceries in your hand. When, with all seats folded up, we're around like 32.8 cubic feet of space. When you fold these second uh, seats down here, you just pull this little lever here. Sometimes you'll get it, like as for example, you see the seats there fold flat. You can also fold this one down, but I kind of noticed with the uh, front seats up, the uh, front bucket seats, they're very, very heavy. You also have a uh, Honda vacuum back here, as you can see, the nozzle here. You can just clip this piece on, and this also reaches reaches up to the front uh, seats up there. But Honda recommends that you don't, uh, that you do not suck up any water with this because you will damage the actual uh, vacuum itself, and everything just goes right back into fix the same way that you uh, that you received it out of here. Let's so this part back up here and the motor and stuff is going to be down here so you can dispose of the uh, trash that the kids or whatever adults that waste some uh, trash inside the actual cabin as well but overall this thing is very practical with you fold all the seats down you're around about 144 cubic feet of space so that's more than a ford expedition and also a chevy suburban but overall we're gonna take a look at the interior of the odyssey so walking up to the odyssey here you also have this black circle here to lock the door you press it to unlock it honda does a sensor behind the door Open up this interior as a two-tone interior, as a beige interior, which I think looks really, really nice. You also have this panoramic sunroof to let more additional light into this lightened interior. So starting with the door panel here, you also have this soft touch ejected motor plastic. You also have this black painted door handle with two-person memory seats. You also have your mirror controls here with your window controls here. It is express up express down for all four windows. I wasn't expecting that. You also have some additional storage here with a cup holder and of course, gonna be hard to plastic here, lower part of your door. You also have your lumbar support here with your driver adjustable seating. You also have your controls to open and close both sides of the doors on the van. You can turn them on or off. You also have your trunk release, your lane keep assist, parking sensors, stability control, and your collision and mitigation, uh, which is this right here. You also have electronic parking brake and a brake hold here as well. Your steering wheel is going to be a manual tilt telescoping wheel. Get inside the Odyssey here, closing the door. Door has a nice lot of sound to it. So to start up the Odyssey, put your foot on the brake and press the start button here. As you can see, it has a nice uh, startup. So starting with the steering wheel, here's a leather wrapped steering wheel. You also have some paddle shifters here. This also has a 10 speed automatic transmission developed by Honda. You also have this portion here to cycle through this LCD display here for your FM radio, AM radio, Bluetooth, aux ports, USB, and also for the rear entertainment. You also have your phone controls here. You also click this to show you home. You can show your trip computer here. 
different settings, your units and so forth. That's all your volume controls here with this black piano plastic here. You also have a heated steering wheel button here. You also have your adaptive cruise control with your line keeping assist. You also have three level heated seats and cool seats here. You also have this push button style selector here, pushing it for reverse. You also have this backup camera with different views here. You also have this thing here, just in case there was a car coming, it will notify you that a car is approaching your uh, blind spot here. You also have trajectory with rear and front parking sensors because this van is very, very big with overall length of 203 inches. You can click the D for here for drive and the P for park. You also have auto on start here or snow mode and also have an econ mode here as well. You also have this eight inch display here. Very, very snappy. The Apple CarPlay works fine. You also have Android Auto. Going here to your um, navigation. Is that Tom Tom navigation? You know, it's a Honda head unit, so it's very, very uh, fast and snappy. And go back here. Kind of lagged a little bit, but you know, I just started the car up, so I like this feature here on the Odyssey. I'll show you guys right now. It calls it cabin watch. So if you're on a long road trip, here, you can zoom in and see that if there's some kids sleeping or whatnot, or also in that third row. So, which I think is a nice feature that Honda gives you this. I'm not sure if the Pacifica offers that. I know the Sienna definitely doesn't offer this thing called uh, cabin talk here. It projects your voice throughout the cabin. So if your kids were screaming and hollering and they were getting on your nerves, you can just uh, let them know like, hey, calm down back there. Or you can put it through the headphones. So whatever headphones that they have on back there, they can definitely uh, hear you. And that comes standard with the Odyssey, which is headphones and a remote control. Yes, I have two cup holders here. It fits my bottle of water just fine. Yes, I have a Blu-ray player down here. You can also play it through the uh, screen, which is up here, which is, I think it's still cool that Vans still offer this kind of thing out here. I also have a 12 volt down here with some more uh, outlets over here, which is a 115 household outlet. Unfortunately, he can't really see it. It's the way I'm positioned with the camera. I also have these armrests here. So if you're going on a long road trip, you can rest your elbows. I also have this uh, tray here. I like this material. It's like the same material that they use on the, the Passport and also on the Pilot. So I think it's a nice uh, funny rise material that I think I like, it, which is really cool. You also have a wireless charging pad. It charges my iPhone 11 just fine. You also have two USB ports in here. Also an aux. The seats are very comfortable. They're heated and cooled and they hold you in place. Oh, part of your dashboard here. It's going to be a nice leather up material with stitching. Decent size glove box here is damp. It's not like with felt. I also have the standard size sunroof. I also have a sunglass holder here. Or you can just use this to peek at your uh, rear passengers. But overall, I'd rather just use the actual uh, rear view, uh, the cabin watch. I think that's better. As I have incandescent lighting through here, you also have your tilt uh, functions for your sunroof. But overall, I'm going to take a look at the back seat of the Odyssey. So to access the second and third row of the Odyssey, just open up this, the, the door here. The door opens nice and full. As you can see, Odyssey's come standard with an eight seat configuration, but I took the actual seat out in the middle so I can show you guys this cool feature that, which I think this feature is very cool. You can slide the seats left or right, depending on what side of the vehicle you're on. But the Pacifica, the seats fold down into the floor. So I wish Honda could have kind of pioneered that first before uh, the Pacifica did. But overall, Honda Racy legroom back here, back here at 40.9 inches of legroom. You also have two map pockets here with two uh, fast charger USB. So you also have an HDMI cord. You also have this uh, Blu-ray uh, screen up here. They can play Blu-ray movies or you can listen to iHeartRadio or Spotify. So which I think is another cool feature. Your climate controls are going to be integrated into the actual roof up here, but your vents are going to be a little closer to you instead of on the ceiling. I think the Pacifica gives you uh, rear vents, I mean vents on the ceiling and also the Santa if I'm not mistaken. You also have these tabs here to open and close the door. And the seats, they actually slide forward and back to accommodate the person in the third row. Let's take a look at the third row. So to access the third row here, you can either pull this little thing, this handle here, the seat will slide forward. I'm gonna bring the camera a little closer so you guys can see. There's a nice alleyway to pass through here. But sitting back here, move this arm, this headrest, you get four cup holders back here. You also have some rear vents, like I mentioned. They're here on the side. You also have a 12 volt back here and a headphone jack back here. You also get some rear sunshades. Also in the front, I forgot to mention, you also get reverse sunshade up there. The thing, the seats feel the same. They feel nice and cozy. There's no heated cool seats back here. Only the driver and passenger get the heated and cool seats. But overall, we're gonna take the Odyssey out and see how it actually performs. Up in the Honda Odyssey, 
This thing has a 10 speed automatic transmission that Honda developed themselves. This also has Honda safety sense, which includes collision uh, mitigation, braking, also for collision warning with cross traffic alert, also with lane keep assist. Handling it in the Odyssey is pretty good, but my main concern is that 10 speed. This has a 3.5 liter V6, it's naturally aspirated. The 10 speed sounds pretty good. So down. This thing is pretty fast. Getting onto the turnpike here, you have a lot of power. It makes 280 horsepower and 262 foot pounds of torque. Fuel economy is going to be rated at 19 in the city, 28 on the highway, and 22 combined. Regular fuel is recommended. Visibility out of the Odyssey is pretty good. I also have these big side mirrors here with the blind spot monitoring. The seats in here are very comfortable. I actually have a good seating position. Two person memory seats as well, just in case your wife or your husband uh, move your seating position. You can just you know, set it the way you would like in the two person memory uh, seating set, uh, the setup here. It also has lane departure one, as you guys can see, it kind of, it didn't, it shoved me back over. Suspension feel in the Odyssey has a, has a great suspension feel. The stern is light, but it's not loose or anything like that. So it has a nice stern feel. So I'm in a little traffic here. Everybody's going to the keys, it looks like. Um, and for a van, this thing can definitely hustle. That 10 speed automatic transmission is shifting. I didn't have a problem with the 10-speed automatic transmission. It downshifted just fine. You know, the right gear to be in. So that's why I think Honda went away from the 9-speed because a lot of people were complaining about the 9-speed. So that's why they gave this, the Odyssey a 10-speed automatic transmission. So after spending time with the Odyssey, this vehicle has a quick shifting 10-speed automatic transmission. And for a van, this thing can definitely hustle. So how much does an Odyssey cost? Starting price is $47,320. This also has a destination charge. So this thing stickers for $8,415. Let's give a special thanks to the general manager, Rick, for providing with the vehicle. If you're on the market for a Honda Odyssey, come to Largo Honda and ask for the general manager, Rick. And this is my full review on the 2020 Honda Odyssey Elite. Make sure you guys follow me on Instagram, at Driver Reviews, and keep subscribing to my YouTube channel and turn on post notifications. I'll catch you all in the next video.